Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of CVTV. My name is Carlos here uh, with David Dockin, owner of Coralview. How are you, Dave? Doing well, Carlos. How are you today? I'm doing very well. So let's get to this. Today, we're actually going to be covering the two milliliters per minute pump, which is a very slow moving pump. So Dave, yep. what is the dosing pump? What does it do? It, it, basically, it's, it's a, a simple pump that's uh, for automating liquid supplements uh, into your aquarium in the simplest terms. Uh, is it affordable? I mean, I know there's a lot of pumps out there. Trust me, yeah. I've seen some of the other brand pumps and they're like $200, $300. What is the price on this little thing? Yeah, that, so this one's uh, $79.99 is the retail on this pump. So it's, a, it's an That's affordable option and, and it's a slow doser. So that, let's keep that in mind and, mm -hmm. and the purposes for the slow dosing. So it does, yeah, exactly. So it does only about two milliliters per minute. So it's mm -hmm. not here, it's not there to dose 200 milliliters of a liquid. Instead, it's right. for precision, for, for liquid, for when you need small amounts and you need to be precise, then it actually runs the pump for a longer period of time, which makes it easier. Mm -hmm. If you have a pump that has, let's say, 40 millimeters per milliliters per minute, and you want to dose two milliliters, then the pump has to turn on and turn off right away, which really doesn't give the motor enough time to get going. And mm -hmm. then the reliability of, or the accuracy of the volume is not there. Think of it as a as taking a car and immediately quickly pushing the pedal, the accelerator down, and then immediately taking it out. Is the car going to move? Probably not. It's just going to go, it's going to rev up and then it's going to go up and it's going to rev down yeah. again. And that's probably what it's going to do. It's just not enough time for the engine to get going. So when yeah. you have a very small volume, it's better to run the pump longer. So then you have higher accuracy. All right. The, the pump actually connects to an AC outlet. So it could mm -hmm. be connected to an XP8. It could be connected to a um, um, Wi-Fi strip, depending on what you're dosing. Please watch the dosing on mm -hmm. Wi-Fi strip video that we did because it, it'll give you some points on why and why not to use that. And uh, so let's go over the features. Okay. Yeah. So the first feature is the average output is two milliliters per minute. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes it might be a little bit more. Sometimes it'll be a, bit, a bit less. It depends on the pump, depends on the power you're connecting it to and so forth. Mm -hmm. But the average is about two milliliters per minute. What else, Dave? Uh, super quiet. It, it's, it's a very low noise uh, pump. I mean, that's what you everybody even, wants, right? You can't hear it. I mean, it's like literally yeah. I have to look at the pump to see that it's hear. actually rotating. Right. Exactly. The great thing about old dosing pumps is that there's no back siphon. That makes it great mm -hmm. because of the rollers, there is no way to back siphon into the container, which makes it so much simpler. What else, Dave? Yep. It actually has four rollers instead of two that you may typically see on a copperable uh, pump like this. Exactly. And the rollers, the more the rollers, mm -hmm. the more accurate, accurate. the volume yep. is. Two rollers compared to four. You know, it's going to be a lot better, a lot more accuracy. Let's say you're, you know, something that you need like accurate, like let's say lanthanum. If you're dosing mm -hmm. lanthanum, you're probably going to be dosing lanthanum very small if you do it every day. So you need something that is very, very accurate. Four rollers is going to be much more accurate than two rollers. Okay. Mm -hmm. Also, the pump can handle more than 2,000 hours of pump life. Yeah. That's a long That's a time, lot of time, especially when the pump... Especially when the pump is running very, very slow. So yeah. that's awesome. What else, Dave? Accuracy plus or minus about 2%, Carlos. So it's, it's a that's, very accurate pump. That's pretty good. Especially when you're talking about very low volume, you know, yep. the accuracy 2% is even, you know, accuracy of 2% on 100 is 2 milliliters. Accuracy mm -hmm. of 2% 2 on 2 milliliters is 0.2 milliliters. So you see where yeah. the accuracy goes mm -hmm. up even higher. It comes with a one year limited warranty from Coralview, which yeah. is amazing. You know, you purchase anything from Amazon and sometimes you'll be lucky if you get any, if you get a response mm -hmm. after a month, you know, yeah. and then, yeah. <laughs> and one of the most important things, Dave, what is that? It's, it's not made for continuous use. This is not a continuous duty pump. 
This is not a pump on your calcium reactor. This is not a pump on your Kaltwasser reactor. It's not meant to run 24 seven. So this is huge. Otherwise you will burn it up. Mm -hmm. So don't use it. Okay. So now we have this pump and people often ask me about calibration. What are the, mm -hmm. e one of the easiest ways to calibrate a two milliliter pump and it's, it's not as, it's very easy, but not as intuitive as you may think, because a lot of people try to calibrate a two milliliter pump with using a calibrated flask or beaker that is like 25 or 30. And mm -hmm. when it's 25 or 30, it's incredibly hard to see the difference between two milliliters, 2.1 milliliters or three or, or 1.9. You just cannot. So in order to calibrate the pump correctly, you either need to find a calibrated beaker that is like five milliliters. So then you can actually see between the points or what I recommend instead is run the pump for a little bit longer. So instead of running it for one minute, which gives you two milliliters, let's go ahead and run it for 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. So 10 minutes is going to give you 20 milliliters. And it's actually better because then it actually gives you an average. So then if you run it for 20 minutes for 10 minutes, then divide that by the volume divided by 10. And that will be the average that you can plug in into the hydros or whatever device you're using to know exactly how long to run that pump in order to get two milliliters of water. That's it's, it's pretty simple calibration. Yeah, that's it. All right. So if you have any questions on the um, uh, two milliliters per minute dosing pump, please head on over to support dot coralviewhydros.com. One of the reps there will be able to answer your call, your, your, your email, your message within 24 hours. Otherwise, feel free to head over to Facebook, to the Facebook Coral View group. And there's plenty of people there willing to help. And um, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.